These are the last few sequins that need to go into this project and as always it has taken me a fair while longer than I anticipated to complete this so I am looking forward to being done with it now. Getting this piece off of the frame is going to be one of the best bits. I love taking it out and seeing the piece actually move. As these pieces are all about the light, I really like to see them move in natural light, which makes me think that perhaps with the movement and the way it catches the light, this would be better suited for a clothing outcome. But for now, I am going to be working towards presenting this on a canvas, as I originally intended, um, as the dimensions of the piece are made for a canvas. And I'll just have to be satisfied with taking it outside and having a little look at how it moves in one of the first days of spring sunlight that we have here. Now to mount the piece onto its intended canvas. First of all, I like to take the piece and just check the boundaries. It's always worth pinning things into place first and deciding if it is in fact how you like it and looking the way you intended it to, and then making it more permanent. So that's all I'm doing here, is just working out exactly what the best position is for this canvas to be in and how I'd like the corners to look. As I mentioned earlier, I left the corners of this piece blank because the sequins sit so proud from the base fabric that that would have made it really difficult to get nice corner finishes on a piece that was going around a 3D canvas, as this is. So that's why I have those little funny negative patches of stitching. But now I need to make the decisions on how I'm going to fold those corners and try to make it look nice with those blank spaces. I settled on pulling the fabric upwards and flat against the short side of the canvas as much as is possible and then pulling the excess across down the long side of the canvas and securing this into place. Whilst this probably isn't the tidiest finish for the back of the canvas, I felt that this way gave the best corners from the sides, which is where I think it's going to be seen from more, so I gave that priority. Now that I know exactly what I'm aiming for, I do have to go back a step and take out the pins as I need to tension the long sides of the fabric underneath first. This I'm doing in exactly the same way as regular watches may have seen me do on the velvet fronds piece, but it involves anchoring the thread in the centre and then working my way across to the other side of the piece of fabric going from top to bottom and then crossing back over to the top to the original side, zigzagging my way across the back of the embroidery to pull the two sides together. It's important that we start in the middle of the piece so that we pull the tension evenly and sort of work our way out to one side as far as we can with a piece of thread, end off that thread, then go back to the centre and work out the other side to about the same distance and then keep alternating the sides so that we're pulling evenly, which is what is most important with this tensioning process. You can remove the pins as you go once the tension is being held by the thread instead of those pins. And you will notice that I am using a slightly heavier weight cotton thread than I would normally sew with. It is a Coates Trichershi thread, so it's a little bit thicker, but it's got a really nice smooth finish to it, which I love working with. I only need to take it as far as the short sides will cover over because they will tension the rest around those corners. So we need to get the corners pinned and spaced nicely again as we will be putting in the stitches that will hold them into their final position now. It's always worth checking that the front does in fact look the way that you intended it to at regular intervals so that you don't come up with any surprises after you've put a load of work in. 
Once again, we're starting in the center and working our way out to one side, then going back to the center and working our way out to the other side to keep that tension once again even.